Hey everybody, Jay on back with another video for you guys and today I have a little bit of fun for you guys Another TV series. Yes, indeed. We did this about a month ago or so with Game of Thrones Go check that out. I uh, will leave that in the description down below if you guys want to go check that out as well And today the TV show that we're going to be talking about is Drum roll, please Is Vikings Vikings is Vikings and this was a TV show I just wrapped up maybe about two weeks ago or so. It's a really long one. It's like seven seasons. I think once it hits like third, the third season or fourth season, it goes like 20 episodes that are like 43 minutes long each. So it's uh, it was a lot to take in and everything and whatnot. I actually ended up watching The Last Kingdom, which was, I guess, like a spinoff of the Viking series. It was called Vikings. I ended up watching that first, ignorantly. Uh, not knowing that it was taking place after the events of the original series of Vikings. So, uh, but anyway, I really enjoyed that series as well. But yeah, the, the original Vikings, I was definitely, definitely a really big fan of. Um, that's why I'm talking about it, I guess. And whatnot. And it came out in 2013. That's originally when the first episode aired. I didn't know that until recently. During the duration of most of the filming and... The show was coming out and everything. I was playing a lot of shows with my band, Ocean, and everything. So, wasn't really paying attention to a lot of things outside of that. I had mega, 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 mega blinders on at that time. And I tend to be late to the party with a lot of things, just in general anyway. So, I'm not going to go into like any overly nerdy, analytical stuff. I'd have to do a lot more research and probably watch the series again all the way through to give you something extremely analytical. Uh, but I'll just kind of give you a little bit of a run through, a little overview, and my thoughts on it. 783 or like 790 or something like that is when it starts. So it's a pretty long time ago. I don't think anybody's alive. If you are and you're watching this video, comment down below if you're over a thousand years old. So I like the whole, you know, throwback thing and everything to when, you know, we didn't have any electricity, any, not even a telegraph or anything along that nature. We had to socially interact face to face. You know, unlike today, where we have cell phones and everything. I love all the fighting in it. I love the, the imagery of it all. You know, the, the hair and everything. The beards and the, the armor and the uh, swords. And it was all really fake. It was really all really, really fascinating at the end of the day. My favorite character through the show was definitely Floki. And I was happy to see that at the end of the series that he was revealed to be alive. Because I believe it was season 6 or 7. He... Spoiler, if you haven't seen it, um, he goes into a cave and a bunch of rocks, you know, collapse on him and stuff like that. So he's presumed dead, at least in my eyes he was. I was like, there's just no way you could kill Floki. And then um, when Uba, one of Ragnar's four sons, goes to, I believe, North America, uh, he sees Floki there. That was a really, really, really like good conclusion. There wasn't like no big epic battle at the end in most shows like that so that made it really unique and everything all in all you know i think it really has a unique storyline and just yeah vibe to it and everything i like how it ended as more of an explorative kind of thing i like how that's just implemented throughout the whole entire show and everything like them obviously going to y6 and northumbria and everything in england and you know taking over bits and parts of that and getting their own kingdom and of uh east anglia and everything there are a bunch of Norwegians, by the way, in this series. And, you know, they discover Iceland, well, Floki does, which was really cool. And then Uba, and I believe his name is Edge, uh, discover Greenland. They call it Greenland, I found out, to attract more settlers. And then they go to North America and run into the natives. And I think, uh, comment in the comment sections down below... Comment where you think they discovered or anything, or if you know what they discovered, like, let me know. That'd be really, really great to find out. Um, my guess is Canada, though. That's what I was thinking, like, Nova Scotia area, Newfoundland, maybe. Um, no idea. Other than that, those are just educated guesses that I took. Just uh, geographically, they are closer to Greenland and stuff like that, which I found fascinating. So I guess the Norwegians found it before... Christopher Columbus did because he found it in like what 1492 or something like that pretty crazy stuff to discover other characters that were really notable there's a lot of characters so I could really really go on and on and on about it is is of course Ragnar he's the big main character throughout the whole entire series and he dies in like what season five or something like that season four 
So it was really interesting to not see him the last two or three seasons or so. And it was more about his sons after that, Ivor the Boneless, of course, Uba, who I've mentioned, uh, the Snake Eye Serpent, I don't remember his name, and uh, I don't remember the name of the other son. It was something with an H. It was really interesting to see them go and take over East Anglia and everything in, in England and whatnot, fulfilling his father's dream, their father's dreams. Bjorn is one of Ragnar's sons. He's just not... They had they had the same, different mothers, you know, uh, Bjorn and uh, the others I mentioned. Bjorn was a really really cool character too. He was much much like his father as well, if not maybe a little bit better. And his mother, Lagatha, absolute freaking goddess, if you ask me. Like that is the type of woman that I want in my life. You know, she can kick fucking ass like literally, and look hot as fuck doing it, and actually have like the biggest heart in the world was just it, it's like uh, uh, where are you <laughs> these days i gotta give it like a good 9.5 out of 10 and everything to me the ultimate 10 out of 10 show is game of thrones it just wasn't quite as good as that but it was really good and i mentioned the last kingdom as well earlier that was really good as well that was worth watching i thought that was a little bit better up until maybe about season five then i was like okay the original viking series is a little bit better but that was really good that really uh grasp my attention as well as i said i watched that prior to watching the original viking series that's with a main character named Utrin. definitely go check that out it was on netflix I, I watched this back in like july or something or june somewhere around then uh it was on netflix and hopefully it's still there so you guys can go watch it and everything and there's going to be a spin-off of vikings as well it's going to be valhalla i Kind of just saw that pop up on Facebook and like YouTube and stuff the other day. So that was really, really freaking cool. Can't wait for that to come out. Comment down below what your guys' favorite character is. I want to know what you guys liked about the show. What you didn't like about the show. Come on now. We can discuss anything about this show. Did you guys, were you guys overall a fan of the show? Did you like The Last Kingdom more? Are you guys excited for Valhalla? Did you think Floki should have died in the middle of the series when he murdered Athelstan, who was also one of my favorite characters as well? So what do you guys think? Uh, tell me down in the comment section below. Let's have a discussion about this. And um, as I said earlier, I'm not going to go into any further detail about it. I'm not going to get it overly analytical. You guys go check it out for yourselves. And if you haven't seen it, I really highly recommend it. Like I said, it's a 9.5 out of 10 in my book. And if you guys like these type of videos, let me know as well. Like I'll do a lot more. I'll watch more TV shows and tell you what I think of them. We can discuss them if you guys have seen them as well. And if you guys are new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. If you like what's going on, you can feel free to unsubscribe at any time and hit that notification bell so you know what's going on at all times. And hit that like button. It helps with the algorithm and everything like that. And if you guys could do so, that would really, really, really help me out a lot. Until next time, Jay Adams, out.